All right, guys, so today we are actually at Helm Forge, which is my buddy's shop here uh, just south of San Antonio. And I have the pocket hammer, which I'm really excited about. But uh, before I get to have fun, we are going to be heat treating, normalizing, and uh, tempering some axe heads for some customer orders. And for you guys who have been ordering those online, thank you so very much. But before I get really deep into this video, definitely make sure that uh, if you are subscribed, definitely go hit the notification button so you guys get um, alerts when the newest videos release because I've noticed that a lot of people are coming to me on Facebook telling me they're not seeing the new videos when they get hit up. So definitely go check that out. But what we're gonna be doing is doing a little work on that. I'll film that with the episode. But the main focus of today is the pocket hammer. And it's gonna, that's the forearm grip that comes with it's a new attachment for the pocket shot. The guys actually sent me their new uh, arrow design that is designed to actually insert into the pouch. And we actually don't damage the fleshings, which is going to be really cool. I've got some cantaloupes, watermelon, some spaghetti squash, pineapple, and Diet Coke because fuck Diet Coke. For those of you who do not know who James Helm is, he is stealing my new tripod. Yes, yeah, this is my really crappy new tripod that I got for nine bucks, but I'm not complaining, it works. He's about to do a Skype interview with Forged in Fire. I don't know if he's gonna get on the show, but maybe. So, you're seeing it before it happens. Gonna be doing some test shots on this cantaloupe to see if the pocket hammer can actually deliver more stability and accuracy than just holding the normal pocket shot. So I went over and checked the shot and looks like I just nicked the side of it, which is, for this being a much smaller target than I'm used to, I'm able to get a lot more accuracy from what I can gather. Mostly. Keep in mind, I'm not an avid archer, so I'm a, I'm a normal novice shooter just like everybody else. Ah, I'm nicking right off the side of that freaking coconut. Or uh, cantaloupe. Now I'm working off the concept aim small, miss small kind of idea. So when I'm going after this thing, I can get close to it. And I'm shooting right past it too. There we go. You can see where I'm nicking this thing. And I mean, I'm actually nicking it. I'm not just slow missing it. But look at that arrow. Arrow went almost all the way through. Just freaking good. And that's not even a broadhead. That's just a field point for target practice. So as you can see, the uh, fletchings nick of this cantaloupe. So I've been uh, scaring this thing all morning. So hopefully I can give you some a lot, a lot better shots with all the targets we got today. We got a lot of shooting to do. So. Let's have some fun. For the, those of you who want to see, you're able to get almost a full draw length with this, and that forearm grip really helps a lot. Hey, there we go, right in the eyeball. Yeah! Holy shit, that went off in the distance. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna find that arrow. All right, so 
I know where the rest of the arrows are. But uh, what basically happened is the arrow shot and bounced up into that. And actually the ricocheted and it's going way the freak out there. So now I get to go find it. Yeah. This is the part of YouTube they don't tell you when you lose an arrow. I'm hoping it's skimmed off and the fletchings are hanging out somewhere that I can see them. I have no clue where this thing could be. Well, it took about five minutes. I found it. Well, I split it. <laughs> That's something, I guess. All right, I got my buddy James out here. We're taking a break from uh, heat treating and such. And he is gonna be messing with the uh, pocket hammer. Let's see if we can hit something. Nice! I need a better shot than I am. Oh, I well, I mean, that's something. Yeah, buddy. Death to the watermelon. All right, so this is gonna be the speed round. Three shots, all those targets, 10 yards, as fast as I can. Just pull back, aim, and shoot. Woo! See if that extent, extent of shooting actually pays off. Ah, come on. Oh, you saw that. That was almost a hit. Hey, I'll take that. I'll take two in a row, too. I wonder if my inner redneck Robin Hood is getting it, kicking in. I'll take it. <laughs> and we're gonna end it right there because I'm ending on a high note. Three for three. One lonely Coca-Cola can. And I hit it. Yes! Woo! So experiment, uh, we have this old dryer and I wanna see if the pocket hammer can uh, help me get some more control and stability to punch some extra power to actually go through the sheet metal. So, uh, yeah, let's have a little bit of fun. Well, I put a dent in it. Woo! So, those are the holes that it made. I actually did a pretty good job. I can actually see a little bit of daylight through it. It's not bad for a slingshot. Now I hope you guys enjoyed that test footage as much fun as I had testing it today. The pocket hammer was an absolute pleasure and a much needed addition in my opinion for the pocket shot. Now I love the fact that the pocket shot is so tiny and it's so powerful given what it can do for its size and the price point of 25 bucks. I like it, I like it a lot, but for me, if I was ever going to try my hand and really dedicate myself to trying to hunt in a, in a serious way with a, with a sling bow for the pocket shot, I definitely wanted that foregrip, that pocket hammer, to really get the job done. And they finally delivered and they did a smoking good job of it. Also, with something that I snuck into the video, uh, I got all three of these axe heads heat treated. And if you're curious about them and you do want to see what they look like in a finished product, I'll throw the link to the mod video down in the description box and I'll put an Etsy uh, link to my shop so you can check that out as well. And this bad boy is really nice, thick, like ABS plastic, if I'm not mistaken, but it's like super, super sturdy stuff. 
I mean, this thing is so freaking solid in the hand. If you got a bigger or smaller forearm, they have the Velcro attachment to adjust the length if need be. And let's say you're not wanting to do arrows, you can still use all of your steel ball ammunition and you're good to go. So my conclusion is this a much needed awesome addition. Is it something you have to have to own the pocket shot and have a lot of fun? Absolutely not. Whether you're using paintballs, to steel ball ammunition, or arrows, you can have an absolute blast with this thing. And for me, over the past year, year and a half of me messing with this and checking out all the new updates they've been doing, it's just been an absolute pleasure. But uh, for all the nerdy tech specs and links to where you can pick this stuff up and do all that kind of stuff, is down going to be down in the description box below. But that just about does it for now. Definitely throw a big thumbs up to this video. If these are the kind of reviews and these are the kind of fun gadgets you guys want to check out here on the channel. And definitely uh, subscribe if you are not already and share this out. It really means a lot to help me grow and keep doing what I'm doing. And also any and all Amazon links that I do throw in in any and all of my videos down in the description box below will help support the channel. They don't raise your end user prices, but they help us keep doing what we're doing. But that just about does it. I hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out.